was an actual person, a very important historical figure in Hungarian history. Um, he was an extremely educated person uh, and his career was a huge success. In the series we can follow him as he builds this career, also as a politician, but also as a person in the church. And he really reaches huge heights in his career. What's really interesting is that uh, because I'm in all the 10 episodes, I can portray him from age 19 until almost like 50, 45. So it's always a big challenge for an actor to kind of authentically portray someone from a very young age to a middle-aged person. So it was quite a big challenge, but I enjoyed it. So he's important in this story because uh, he gets very close to Hunyadi and his wife, Elizabeth. They become very good friends and he becomes this really solid person in the background who always helps and gives advice. He's a really smart guy, uh, so Hunyadi needs him whenever they're planning um, a fight. You know, he needs his logic, his rationality. And through the course of the story, they develop a very special friendship. So basically, I'm really a supporting person in his life. And also because he spends a lot of time abroad in the story. He has to be in Italy, he has to go uh, and fight. I stay at home, uh, I cannot fight, I'm a priest. And I help uh, his wife whenever she's struggling with some something. I also help with raising the children. So this kind of, it becomes part of the family. And I, I really enjoy to portray that sort of strange relationship, that sort of intimacy, that he becomes quite an important figure in both of their lives. Oh my God, so there's plenty of reasons why to like him. And what I think most important is the fact that he was almost a rebel in his time because everything was about war, everything was about oppression, aggression, physical uh, power in those times. You know, when you had to reach something, then you had to use your physique, you had to use aggression. And he was sort of a representative of a new way of thinking. He used logic, he used rash, rational. He was able to convince, to persuade somebody. So that, in, in that sense, he's a very modern figure. But in those times, that was completely new. So I think that a lot of viewers today who are watching the show will be able to relate to him because for the historical course of things, but also for Hunyadi, it was very important to reach success in diplomacy as well. It wasn't only about war. You had to be very smart and do things in the background in order to reach your goals. Mm -hmm. And I think that a lot of people will actually relate to that. Okay, I have to make a confession here because I've always, ever since I was a child, that was my biggest dream, to play in a period piece in costumes. So I remember myself as a child putting on these robes at home, you know, as a six-year-old, and I would pull these things in, in, in the room. And in a sense, this is like a dream come true because the first time I tried on the, the costumes, it felt the exact same thing as I felt when I was a kid, you know, in my own little room, just pretending that I was a king or something. I'm not playing a king, but I can still wear these really uh, extraordinary clothes. Mm -hmm. And honestly, I feel more comfortable in these costumes than in jeans and, and t-shirts. So it was, it was pretty cool. I'm really hoping that they become interested in learning about this part of the world, mm -hmm. that they will be they will be interested in, in, in our culture and that they will get to know uh, the actors who are living and working here in, in this part of Europe. Uh, and also, I think that because we represent such a multicultural world in such turbulent times, they will themselves be able to relate to it easily because you will hear a lot of languages you will see a lot of people from different countries mm -hmm. how they cope with these situations so i think it's 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 uh, it's not a sp specifically hungarian story it depict it depicts a time in hungarian history which is really specific but the story itself the characters themselves are quite universal so it won't be that hard to you know go with the flow of the story <laughs>